The exciting thing about the big picture is understanding that we have a God who uh, totally loves us, is in charge. We're going to go through some really hard stuff, but the big picture is that we've got a God that's in control. I think the big picture means to me uh, like God's plan for me and how it will be set in motion. For me, it means like I do not have to be afraid all the time of something scary because I know that God is with me the entire time. The big picture is every little bit and piece of your life, not just filling up with the cool or fun stuff. It's really kind of just about like having faith in the Lord and trusting Him. With a bunch of my campers this week, uh, they're really nervous about going into high school for the first time and the big change. But to give them hope for what they have, we instill the truth that God is always in control and that God will always take care of us because we're His children. Coming to camp has kind of um, refreshed me spiritually and um, reminded me of my purpose with God. I really like one of them I talks about how God like works through you all the time and He's always with you every step of the way. One of the really cool things that our campers have talked about is how they're committing to read the Bible on a daily basis and to get committed into reading the Word. And their dedication and their um, reliance on the Lord has been um, something that has been encouraging me as a counselor um, and has been um, even guiding me more to Christ. Being at camp has really made me motivated, um, like waking up and doing quiet time and stuff. So I think I'll go home um, and try to keep the same habits that I've started to make here. We're going to go through some really hard stuff, but the big picture is that we've got a God that's in control and that even through the hard things, maybe through some suffering, that God brings about really good things. God's always working in the background of my life, and like even though things may stink at the time, there's always going to be like a beautiful thing that comes out of it. If you look at the suffering um, from a small view, you're like, all oh, there is but hurt. But if you back out, you're like, oh wow, I came in contact and I helped this person, and we went through the fire together. Like it says in Romans 8, it talks about um, how God works all things together for good to those whom He loves. And I want them to understand that our God is a God who loves them, and our God is a God that they can greatly delight in. It's not something that is a duty to know Him, but it's a joy and a satisfaction. And, and as they mature in their Christian faith, that they would see a greater desire to, to love Him out of out of desire, not out of duty. As they go back, I don't want there to be a, a list of rules and things that they have to do and can't do. I, I want there to be a, hey, I need to depend on God to, to do big things. I feel like I'm gonna go home with a lot more hope than I came with, which is really cool. The Lord will always be with me. He will help me through the ways of the hard times and things. And that's basically the big picture for me.